Welcome to an episode of Lockdown with Lula Rocks and today I will be your host and my name is Lucy. In all seriousness, lockdown isn't really lockdown anymore in the UK but today I'm starting a studio vlog. You probably saw me packing up my brand new Kickstarter pins. I am awaiting one design to be remade because it is an absolute state but two of the pins out of three are really really nice it is currently 5 to 12 on friday and i am about to launch my washi tape kickstarter it launches at midday which is why i'm sat here with five minutes to go like oh my god i'm so nervous obviously you saw me design them i think on the last studio vlog i've added one extra design um, so I'll see if I can show you that later as well. I've got so much to update you on, but I don't want to do it now because I keep clock watching. So I think I'm just going to sit here, wait for it to launch and then come back and have a little chinwag with you. Okay, we're live. It's done. Also, already got two backers. You little stars. Thank you. Right, the butterbeer pins. Oh, make that three backers. This is so exciting. So the butterbeer pins are horrendous. It doesn't even look that bad from here, hang on. And it is every single frickin' pin. Basically, none of them can go out, none of them are usable, and I contacted the manufacturers and I was like, look, I can't give these to my backers and they've already been waiting like nine weeks for this order. How can I ask them to wait another one, nine weeks for you to make them again? And they said that it won't take nine weeks because the mold's already done and the artwork's already approved so it won't take that long i can't remember if i've spoken to you guys about this before or not but i have been thinking about getting my own tissue paper made because i finally worked through the monstrous stack of hot pink tissue paper that i had um i bought it when i first started this little venture and they sent me the wrong color it was supposed to be like baby pink and they sent me hot pink and I had so many sheets. So I finally worked my way through that. Um, so today I was looking at just ordering some baby pink tissue paper and price wise, the custom printed stuff is more pricey, but if you order loads, it works out only a little bit more pricey or if you order like loads, the cost comes down quite a lot per sheet with this printed tissue paper it's like i'd be ordering like a thousand sheets so it's a lot of money it is a lot of money to invest in tissue paper i don't know oh that metal smells you know when you get like um metal that's like tarnished like old metal or old copy pick up like a copper coin that's what that smells like that's gross 
Ugh. So yeah, um, thinking about doing tissue paper, mainly for packaging up orders, but also I was thinking I could do it without my logo on and just have like a nice design, patterned design with like some of my illustrations and potentially put it in my shop so people could buy it for like gift wrap and things like that as well. But I don't know if that's something people would want. So let me know in the comments, is that something that you would be interested in? Would you buy like patterned tissue paper with my designs on for like gift wrapping and things like that? Um, yeah, let me know. Thanks. I'm gonna have to be really careful because I haven't shaved my armpits. So like I'm a bit like this because no one wants to see my hairy pits, do they? And also it's probably too much information, but you know, I like to share. I have not been wearing a bra in lockdown for like ever. It is just, not been happening i've barely worn clothes it's just been pajamas and so putting clothes and a bra on for you guys like it's so uncomfortable but you are like this is this is this is big you are privileged that i have done this for you <laughs> <laughs> just losing the plot as always i have ordered some new products but they're not here so I can't show you. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna film this vlog for, whether it'll just be a couple of days or whether you'll see this in a month's time. Hopefully it won't be a month's time because if you don't know about my Kickstarter, then it'll be finished. So <laughs> the aim is to try and get it up before my Kickstarter ends. Shall I let you know where we are on Kickstarter? Right, so last time I looked, I had two backers. I've got seven. Oh my God, I'm on 97 pounds. <gasps> oh, it's nearly fully funded already and it's been 16 Oh my god, thank you so much guys. It's normally like, oh I've just got another backer. Oh my god, we've done it. And I haven't even posted about it on Instagram, but we've done it guys. Oh! <laughs> I'm so glad I'm filming so you can see this face because I am so happy. Oh! <laughs> I better post about this on Instagram. Let's get this momentum going. Keep it going. Good morning guys. It is Monday and at this stage, I am seriously considering whether it is acceptable to film a studio vlog in my underwear because it is so hot. Please don't worry, I'm not actually going to do that. I've got my fan on. You can probably hear it. If you can't hear it, cool. If you can't hear it, sorry, but it will allow me to film longer for you because if I have it off so that you can actually hear me, I'll probably last like a minute and then that'll be it. So <laughs> gotta weigh these things up, pros and cons. So, I've got some new things that have just arrived, which we are gonna open together. <sighs> Get my trusty gloves on. It's either that or they sit in quarantine for another few days, and I really wanna open them on this studio vlog with you guys, so. Okay, so in theory, this should be my new stickers. I will get these out properly so that I can show you. I have a parcel from my pal, Ellis. I'm not saying that I think Ellis has germs, by the way. Ellis, if you're watching it, I don't think you've got germs. It's just that it's been in the post and normally I would leave it in quarantine for a few days, but I really wanted to open them with you guys. So um, yeah, so I am one of Ellis's patrons and um, basically I entered her uh, like art challenge, her monthly art challenge, and she randomly selects like, um, I think it's one or two people a month to win a prize and I won. So she sent me some goodies. I tell you what, now the box is open, I'm gonna de-glove and we shall open it properly together. They've been in transit all for a few days so everything should be fine to touch. It's just the outside boxes I didn't really wanna to touch. So yeah, she sent me a little goodie bundle of art journal supplies. And she wrote me a little message too because she's so cute. So I'm gonna open these. <gasps> oh my God. I'm gonna link, um, I'll link her shop below for you guys to have a look at. Oh my God. Look, I've got ribbons. Oh my God, these are so cute. And little like pearl stickers, tape, bits of card. Oh, that's a nice card. So Ellis is really into like art journaling. I think she finds it really therapeutic. So it could be a good idea to kind of get into it myself. Obviously I do bullet journaling. Well, I haven't done bullet journaling since March. I think when this, you know, when, proverbial poo hit the fan. Um, so maybe art journaling is something that I could do. Look, oh my gosh, you sent so many little bits. Oh, I feel like I've been completely spoiled. That 
is amazing. Look at how much stuff she sent me. Oh, bless her. That is so sweet. It was all packaged so nicely as well. Oh, I love her. She honestly is so, so sweet. You should, you have to go check her out. You have to go check her out. Thank you so much, Ellis, if you're watching this. You absolute star. I'm gonna message you shortly anyway. Right, let's wrap this up all nicely. <laughs> I say nicely, that is not nicely, is it? Let's wrap that up and leave that there. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you the holographic stickers I got. So these are the Animal Crossing inspired fruits and I got them all in a holographic sticker form. So first up, we've got our little nook leaf. Oh, I don't know if you can see the holographicness. Our little apple stickers. Can you see it? Can you see it? Got some orange one, some little pears, those are little cherries, and some little peach ones as well. So we have these little planet dangos. Hmm. I wanted them to be really holographic y, but I think does it lose the lose the illustration a little bit? I don't know. I just don't know whether that shows up enough. Oh, there we go. Right, so the cookie is not holographic and kind of the inside bit is, like the jam or the filling, whatever you want to call it, is holographic. So that one's a bit more, like you can see the design a bit better. So these are the little like candy floss. And they're, they're rainbow and then they've got hollow over them, but it's just not, the illustration's been lost a bit. So that's something to bear in mind going forward. And the last one I did again was part holographic. So the liquid is hollow. What do you reckon? Do you like the new stickers? Last parcel. I'm sorry, this, this video has gone on for ages. Oh, that's cute. I love that. What do you think with the little star? <laughs> Just peachy. Yeah, that's quite cute. So then you could get keyring and matching stickers couldn't you okay it didn't work out as well as i would have liked so basically the little cup has transparent blue around the edges but i don't i don't know that you can see it so it's a little magical oh where are cauldron there and the kind of smoke is like transparent that's what it looks like it's as magical so I think the main thing I need to do is take proper photos of them. Um, showing you guys kind of like this isn't the best thing um, to do. I think I'm going to go and have a break from this room because it's, it's really hot and it's only getting hotter because the sun, sun's moving around. And then, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. So yeah, anyway, peace out. <laughs> guys don't even know what day it is it's thursday not even sure what day i last filmed but the last few days i've been working on a huge wholesale order uh that was quite a lot of pins so it's basically been just me putting pins on backing cards and putting them in a box plan for today is to record two podcasts I've got my normal Patreon one, which I do at the beginning of the month. And then sometimes I do like a mid-month one if I've got things that I want to talk about or if I've got time. Um, but I also really wanted to do a Black Lives Matter podcast focused on racism and anti-racism and what we can do to help at the moment, as well as maybe talk through some feelings that I've had and I'm sure other people have got. 
at the moment um if you follow me on social media i've been quite open about a lot of things and um unfortunately i have had some people take offense to it and i have lost a few followers but that's okay but i do stand by what i believe in and i need to work harder on fighting for the cause and i need to use my platform to do that and at the moment it's all been very very focused on it and now i need to try and find a balance between my normal content that i share and keeping that movement alive because i can't let this fall to the back of my mind once the trend has gone you know the trend it's not a trend it's people's lives so yeah i need to try and have a think about how i'm gonna incorporate it into my business a little bit more so i am thinking about doing like a fundraiser not like a physical product but maybe something like a digital download like a wallpaper or something like that maybe some coloring pages and all of the money will go towards a charity i have already donated to a charity but i'd like to do as much as i can so yeah that's where i'm at with that um like i said i have been pretty open on social media about it and quite vocal about it because um you know i'm i'm ashamed of myself i am i am ashamed of myself because i've always considered myself to not be racist but just not being racist doesn't make you like anti-racist and i've learned so much over the past few days and i just think it's really important to educate um other people and educate myself more and share all of these things because i'm sure a lot of other people are feeling the same and feeling a little bit lost at the moment so if i can put my thoughts into words maybe people maybe it will help people i don't know so anyway that's what i'm gonna say on that at the moment so yeah i plan on doing um a podcast all around that topic for my patrons as well as my normal one and also my washi tape pixar is fully funded like every single design has been unlocked which is amazing so yeah thank you guys if you've backed my campaign and if you want to back my campaign before it ends you can find a link below in the description probably going to start working on some new designs for washi tapes for some extra stretch goals because obviously people are loving the washi tapes so yeah probably going to work on that at some point that probably won't be today let me get my to-do list out my to-do list has been slowly getting bigger and bigger and i'm having to i'm doing it on my phone i haven't been bullet journaling but i'm when i'm looking at it i'm finding it a little bit overwhelming because when covid started happening and you guys know i was freaking out i kind of just really stepped back from lula rocks and did the the bare minimum I did the work that had to be done and my to-do list was very very small um and now slowly as my anxiety relaxes um i've been adding more things to my to-do list and now i'm looking at my to-do list and it's like oh crap i've got a lot to do and i don't want to feel overwhelmed but it, i am looking at it and it is scaring me a little bit my to-do list so i'm trying to break it down into just a few things a day at the moment if i put myself under too much pressure then the anxiety will start kind of creeping back in so yeah i'm gonna stick my fan on and start recording uh my podcast once i've cooled down a little bit good morning my lovely patrons welcome back to another podcast first of all i want to say a huge welcome to all of you new patrons that have joined us good morning guys I don't even know when the last time I filmed was, but it was a little while ago. So don't know what's happened that I can catch you up on, um, but I will try and summarise a little bit. Um, first of all, plan for today is to work on my washi tape stretch goals. I designed some stretch goals yesterday because all of the washi tapes have been unlocked. Don't know whether I've already told you that. And everyone's like, are we gonna get some more stretch goals? So I designed four of those yesterday and I need to actually put them into the campaign now. Um, I've got some orders to pack, so I might show you a little bit of that. Tomorrow is Friday and I'm gonna be launching all of the stickers and the key rings tomorrow, so that's exciting. I've also got some new digital downloads that will be going live tomorrow. And one of the other things to catch you up on is the Black Lives Matter fundraiser that I'm doing on my website. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. I've got a load of digital downloads like wallpapers and colouring pages and all the proceeds goes to Black Lives Matter. So I would appreciate it if you could have a little look, if that is a cause that is close to your heart at the moment. 
I mean, it's been a heavy couple of months. Not even a couple of months. It's been a heavy 2020. So much has been going on and it is just mind blowing. So this is just a little reminder to you all. If things are getting too heavy for you, please take some time for yourself. Have a little chill. Do some self care because you can't fight for what you believe in if you're not at your best. So without further ado, let's get going. concludes this episode of lockdown with Lou rocks i have to say i don't like this way of filming studio vlogs i started this vlog a couple of weeks ago and have just been filming kind of as and when i do things that i think might be of interest and i don't like it one bit i have no idea what i filmed i have no idea where i am i don't know what to say i feel lost <laughs> so yeah probably won't do this again What's on my glasses? I'm hoping I don't have food in my teeth or all around my face because I did just have some peanut butter um, and that does always get in my teeth. So I apologize if I've got food anywhere. So yeah, I am gonna end it here. I really wanna get this vlog edited and uploaded now really well, not right now but asap because i think it's really important i've discussed a lot of kind of black lives matter things talked about my fundraiser on here and i really want to kind of post it now rather than waiting too long because i don't want the noise to die down yeah so i just really want to kind of keep the hype up as much as possible i'm going to leave a link below with some resources that you can look at Please try and continue to educate yourselves um, and re-educate yourselves and I am going to continue to do the same. I've got a load of books that I want to read. We've got an audio book that we're going to start today and yeah, I just think it's really important that we continue to help fight this cause and relearn everything, basically. Relearn everything that we've ever known. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. No idea what's on it. <laughs> we'll see when it comes to editing, but I will see you hopefully very, very soon. Oh, no.